look at these exciting prizes. Fabulous merchandise just waiting to be won on Wheel of Fortune. And now, here is the star of our show, Eddie Sigley. Thank you very much, Steve, and welcome to the Wheel of Fortune, wherever you may be watching us around Australia. And welcome to Adriana Exhibitors. Adriana. Looking like Hello. something from King Arthur's uh, nice. round table, yeah. <laughs> Almost. It's very male, that isn't it? Male? Yeah, yes, as in, uh, as in armour. Oh, right. The yes. male. Yes. As a matter of fact... I thought you were going to comment about my grandfather's... I was just going to talk <laughs> about your long johns. Look as though they haven't been pressed. <laughs> they are meant to be worn all like that. They're yeah. not meant to be worn neatly. Why don't you get your shoes to have a party and invite the long johns down? <laughs> They're meant to be worn like that. As They're I a said. bit Goldsboro Mort, aren't they? <laughs> A bit what? Golds for more, short. Oh, right. Mm. Uh, I like them that, like that. Nice. Do your ankles ever blow out? <laughs> no, I haven't got that problem. <laughs> Thank you, Adrian. Do yours? Pardon? Do yours? <laughs> no, I don't wear those. Oh, I see. Right. <laughs> Thanks. Right, let's meet our contestants for today. First of all, a man is a postal clerk. He enjoys tennis, badminton, ten pin bowling, bowling, and drawing. Eugene Gillen. Hello, Eugene. Hey, hey, hey. How are you? How are you? When you say drawing, what sort of drawing, Eugene? Oh, sort of um, commercial art sort of Commercial work. art? Yeah. Do you do uh, caricatures and all that sort of thing? No, we were going to do nude, um, you know, caricatures. We found that most of them were men, so we gave it a miss, you know. What you gave the it a hell? miss? Yeah, what the hell. Yeah, the man in the nude doesn't look yeah, too Yeah, no, does it's he? too hard to draw anyway, isn't it? Well, <laughs> Depends how much pencil you've got, Eugene. Well, okay, let's meet our second contestant, who is an interior decorator, enjoys sewing, gardening, attempting, bowling, Marlene Conway. Hello, Hi. Marlene, how are you? Good day. Interior decorator, are you? Well, I work with a firm that you opened their shop, uh, our sh one of our stores at Woodville. <laughs> Do you remember? No. Bristol? Oh, Bristol. Yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> Two Bristols. That no, was one. It was one Bristol store. That's right. Yeah. yeah. As a matter of fact, I painted my house about twelve months ago with Bristol paint. You can really recommend it. Yes, can't you? buckskin. Yeah. Very good. Oh yeah. You know the buckskin yeah. paint. It's beautiful mm -hmm. colour, isn't mm -hmm. it? Beautiful. All right, Marlene. Nice to meet you. And our carryover champ from yesterday, Lisa. You had a very good day yesterday, Lisa. Yeah. Let's see carry over every day. Our contestants are going for the major prize, the Whit Sunday Village Holiday in Northern Queensland of the value of $4,000. Let's get the game underway. First game, $240 is the top dollar. We have one bankrupt and we're going for a phrase. Your first off, Eugene, a phrase. A phrase in our first game. <coughs> $60, Eugene. T for Tom. T for Tom, yes, one T. One T, Eugene. Any good at crosswords, Eugene? Yeah. I can't work that out. Pardon? I can't work that out. <laughs> no, I'll give it a chance. $50. H for Harry. An H for Harry, yes, two H's. Two H's. Well, that's a good start for you, you've got $110. Marlene and Lisa yet to get a go. Lisa yesterday won $1,333 in prizes. $120, Eugene. F for Freddy. F for Fred, yeah, one F. One F. Okay. Does that help anyone yet? No. Nope. Hundred and eighty years in. N for Nelly. N yes, two N's. Two N's. Two N's. Keep a spinning, he's concentrating this boy. Looks as though he knows what he's doing. Four hundred and ten dollars you've got there, Eugene. Can help you at all? Yeah. Help anyone in the audience, do you know? Yeah. Fair enough. What was that, Latin? $180, Eugene. C for Charlie. C for Charlie, no C. Bad luck, okay. Over to you, Marlene Conway. Over to Marlene, let's see if she can do any good with this one. You got any idea yet, Marlene? No. Lisa? An R for Robert? $120. No R's, no, no R's. Sorry, okay, Lisa. Over to you. A phrase in round one. We're going for our top dollar, 
240. Eugene's got 410. Marlene and Lisa yet to score. Lisa having her first try now. She comes up with $30, Lisa. G? G. No, G's. And it's back to Eugene, who I think is uh, rather confident now, aren't you, uh, Eugene? Yes, I just a little bit. Yeah, 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 I should end up with the bankrupt, though. No, no, don't talk yourself into it. Or lose the turn. He's got the big one, has he? Bad luck. $60, Eugene. An L for London. An L for London, yes, there is an L for London. <laughs> Eugene goes to $470 in the first round of the Wheel of Fortune. Mm, could be a big one here for you. $120. S for Sam. S for Sam, yes, one S. That helps you score. That's five ninety dollars now, Eugene. Five ninety dollars. You've got Marlene and Lisa. Yet to score. This is round one. You must win the day's game to keep the prizes, and to win the game, you must have the most money. Ninety dollars. P for Peter. P for Peter. Yes. That's the end of the concert with Johnny Bowles. What is it? Flash in the pan. Flash in the pan. You're right. Eugene. That was a good start in round one. Eugene, you got $680. What would you like to spend the $680 on? Uh, the Tosca luggage. Tosca luggage for $475. That leaves you $205. Um, the brass candle holders. Brass candle holders for $145. Leaves $60. No, the National Clock Radio. The National Clock Radio for $50. Leaves you $10. we will keep that in the bank. Steve, tell us about those prizes, please. If you want first-class luggage, this is a great combination of travel goods, including two suitcases, wet pack, casual bags, and casual hiker. It's priced at $475 from Tosca Leather Goods. And this lovely pair of Georgian brass candlesticks are made from handcrafted polished brass with easy care baked enamel finish priced at $145 from MS Poppet. This latest model AMFM clock radio comes complete with snooze button to make sure you wake on time. It's priced at $50 from National Panasonic. Okay, here we are back. You've won all those prizes, Eugene. Can he do well again in round two? We'll find out when we come back with round two of Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> Curtis now to tell us about some of our big prizes on the Wheel of Fortune. Thanks, Steve. Thank you, and this his or hers 14 carat gold identity bracelet is made by Master Craftsman. Jewelry at its best. It's available from Bruce and Walsh, Sydney's most capable jewelers. Your dinner parties will be better than ever with this lovely 20-piece fine china dining setting and 22-piece stainless steel cookware set. It's with the compliments from Vitacraft Cookware. And this beautiful pewterware will add grace and elegance to your table setting, comprising tea and coffee service, wine and water goblets, pitcher and tray, with the compliments it's off Sir Langor. Thank you very much, Steve. Okay, round two on the Wheel of Fortune. We have two bankrupts. A top dollar is 460, going for a famous American movie star. Valine, you're first off this time. 460 is the top dollar. Best of luck to you, love. As we go off in round two. Actually, I could do with some wallpaper, Marlene. Well, My little you? daughter ripped half the wallpaper off from the hallway the other day. I've heard of that. <laughs> yeah, you've heard about it. Yeah. $75, Marlene. An R for Robert. R for Robert, there's one R. One R as we go for an American movie star. Okay, you're on the board now with $75, Marley. Eugene's got $680. You can't you lose that, Eugene. That's uh, locked away in the bank for you. Marlene's got $75, and Lisa is yet to score. Yet to get a chance, too, in round two. As we go for a movie star. Bad luck there, Marlene. Lisa turn. It's over to you, Lisa. American movie star. Good if you got it early, then you can build your bank up with plenty of confidence, couldn't you? $110, Lisa. T for Tom? Yes, there is a T. T, as Lisa is now on the board for the first time with $110 in this game. Marlene, 75. Eugene, yet to score in this game. Another big one for you there. It's $260, Lisa. S for Sam? Yes, there is an S. That will probably help. That S. Doesn't help you? No, no. $370, Lisa. Oh, L for Larry. No L. It's okay, Eugene. Back to you. American movie star. Anyone know it yet in the audience? 
One forty dollars. Um, in Finelli. In yes, one in. <laughs> one in. Eugene concentrating there. That's the strategy of this game. Forget what the board looks like. For the wheel, just keep looking at that board. Try and work out who it is. If I was up here playing it, I wouldn't get anyone. Two thirty. H for Harry. An H. No H is okay, Marlene. It's back to you as Eugene sits on this game, one forty dollars Marlene, 75, Lisa, 370. Round two on the Wheel of Fortune being brought to you around Australia on the Seven Network and associated stations throughout this beautiful country called Australia. Oh. 75. H for Harry? H for, no H's, no. No, okay, Lisa, over to you. Must concentrate there, because that's what Eugene said before an H. That's the strategy of this game, is to listen and to watch. You can buy a vowel any time you've got over $50, that can help lose a turn there, Lisa. Well, this is a strange game, this one. Nobody has got a clue who this is. It's an American movie star. As soon as it comes up, you'll go, oh, yes. I remember him. He made a movie with Ernie. $110. Uh, w for William. No W's. Right on, Marlene. No idea yet, Marlene or Lisa? No. No. I could give you one clue and you know it straight away, but I won't give you the clue. <laughs> and it's very obvious. $260, Marlene. Could I have a G, please? A G. No G's. This is a difficult one, isn't it? One of America's best-known movie stars, too. He hasn't made a movie with Jack Thompson, though. $320, Lisa. B for Bob. No, no B's. OK, back to you, Eugene. Sure, you're going to have to do something here. I think it'll just go all night. <laughs> you still don't know? No, I do you? It's not Mickey Rooney. No, I've got that. <laughs> Uh, uh, fair enough. Yes, yeah, sure. Who's your tobacco? Oh, yeah. $275. Yes. Uh, uh, M for Mary. M for no M's. No M's. Eugene, no. What the hell? <laughs> this has got everyone stuck now. 75. Marlene has got. Police has got 370. And Eugene, 140. Don't tell me. Ah. Don't tell me. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> She's gone. Nugent Bank. Bankrupt. Oh, over to Lisa, our carryover champ. Got any idea yet, Lisa? $110. C for Charlie. No C's. No C's. I tell you what, I'll go home. I'll see you next week. God, how you see. I can't, I can't give you a clue because it's not fair. So the, if I give a clue, then that helps the person who has got the first up spin. Do you know in the audience who it is yet? They know at last. Well, tell us. <laughs> Good on you, Eugene. $260. Uh, D for David. That's going to help you, yeah, yeah. That's going to help you now. He's got a D. Now they know who it is. Here we go. $400 for Eugene. Nothing to Marlene, Lisa, 370. Now you all know who it is, do you? You know who it is, Lisa? Marlene does. Eugene does, don't you, Eugene? $140. P for Peter? Yes. P for Peter. Yes. Now she knows. You all know, don't you? $540. If Eugene can stay here, he's going to build up a big bank. If he's not, then Marlene and Lisa are going to get a chance. Yes, this looks like a good bank for him. Two sixty. Uh, why for yellow? Yes. But he couldn't build up a good bank because that's the end. That's the end of the consonants. Sydney Portier. Sydney Portier. You're all right. Very well known star made a million movies and probably one of his best in the heat of the night. And to serve with love. All right. What would you like to spend? I'll it on? have the grandmother clock. I don't blame you. Beautiful. That the grandmother clock for seven hundred and fifty leaves you fifty dollars. Steve, tell us about that beautiful clock. 
This 5 feet 3 inch grandmother clock is finished in warm brown mahogany. It has 8 day movement with Westminster chimes. It strikes on the hour and chimes every quarter hour. Priced at $750 from Norman Turner and Nottage. Okay, okay, good on you Eugene. You have now got $1480. You can't lose that. That's stuck in the bank for you. And Marlene, you've got nothing yet love, but you've got a plenty of chance in round 3. Lisa, you've got $370. Who will win the game? At the moment Eugene's the favourite. We'll find out when we come back with round 3. Wheel of Fortune. Half round three on the Wheel of Fortune, two bankrupts. Our top dollar is $1,200. We're going for a phrase. Lisa, our carryover champ. I'll just run through the scores. You've got $370, Lisa. Marlene, you haven't got anything. Eugene is leading at the moment with $1,480. We're going for a phrase, $1,200, our top dollar. Off you go, Lisa. You're first off. Let's see how you go. Best of luck to you in the last round of Wheel of Fortune where we'll be finding out who our winner will be for the day. Lisa got 370 in front of her at the moment and she's going to lose a turn. Bad luck to you, Lisa, and over to Eugene. You've only got to pull out one 1200 and get, get the letter up there and you're an odds on favourite. That's why this is an important game, this one. It's all big money. So is this one, $180, Eugene. S for Sam. S for Sam, one S. One S. As we go for a phrase, what is? That looks great, that 1200, doesn't it? <laughs> you never know, you never know your luck in a big city, Eugene. The Edithburg kid, 135, Eugene. Uh, H for Harry. An H, yes, got two H's. I thought we were going to come up the other side. Huh? I thought we were going to come up the other side. Uh. It is a phrase. Any idea yet? Any? No. Might take a while, this one. 225, Eugene. Uh, T for Tom. T for Tom, yes, one T. One T, and you've gone now to $540 in this last game. Lisa's 370. And Marlene, yet to score. Yet to get a chance as Eugene loses a turn in round three. Marlene, up to you now. Let's see if you can pull a big one out. <laughs> Going for a phrase. What are you laughing at, Marlene? Well, it's very funny. <laughs> You're a happy girl, eh? Usually. That's not bad. $360. Oh, yeah. $360. Have a W, please. W, yes, there is a W. There's a W. Have you got an idea what this is? Well, if you can pull out some big money now and just keep going, get the right letters, you could build yourself up. You've got $360, Marlene. Lisa, $370, and usually $540 in this game. Marlene has got $110 in front of her. Give us a letter, please, Marlene. Have an R for Robert? R for Robert, yes. Two R's, but I love it. It's my turn now as I walk over orange juice and it's my turn to spin what comes up in front of you. That's what you'll all be going for, OK, as we go for a phrase. Be nice if I could pull up $1,200, wouldn't it? No, no, no. $135. Have an N for Nelly? N for Nelly. No ends. OK, Lisa. Um, B for Bob. B for Bob. One B. No. Eugene. D for David. D for David. Yes, one D. Can you solve it? No. Uh, B with, uh, like, uh, a be like a bear with a sore head. What do we pay that? Yes, we pay that. Like a bear with a sore head. OK, you're right. Congratulations, because you have won with $2,155. Great score, $2,155. Marlene got $470 and Lisa $505. But never mind, Lisa, you're taking away $1,333, which is prizes, which is good. And you're not going away empty, Marlene. Oh. This is what you're taking. Thanks, Steve. Yes, Marlene, you have a choice of record albums to the value of $50 to suit your own musical taste with the compliments of Polygram. <laughs> OK, thanks very much, Steve. OK, Eugene, you're our champ. You'll be back in just a moment to buy some prizes and also go for our major prize, the Whit Sunday holiday. OK, no we'll be back after this break. Drop your our champ, Eugene.
we are back with our champ who's got $2,155. He's got $675 to spend from round three. Eugene, what would you like to spend it on? Of the gold bangle. The gold bangle, which is $600. And the fire accessories. And the fire accessories for $58. Thank you, Steve. Firstly, this his or hers 14 karat gold identity bracelet is made by Master Craftsman. Jewellery at its best, priced at $600, it's from Bruce and Walsh, Sydney's most capable jewellers. And to add elegance to your fireside, these magnificent fire dogs, two on eight birds, fashioned in solid brass for everlasting beauty, priced at $58 from the Vex Sales. Okay, thanks very much, Steve. Well, Eugene, the boy from Edithburg. You still live in Edithburg? No, I'm over here now. Edithburg's a lovely fishing village for the uh, uh, benefit of people around Australia. Got a really good caravan Australia. park, too. Huh? Got a really good caravan park, too. Why well, is it yours? No, cheap rates. Cheap what? Yeah. You're your family owner? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Just, you know, plugging. Ah. Oh. Fair enough. They told me to. You know. Did they? Well, tell them to drop off. <laughs> OK, you're going for the top prize now of the Whit Sunday. Actually, it's a terrible caravan park. It's the lovely. Witch, that's what you get for trying to put a free plug in. Whit Sunday <laughs> Village Holiday in northern Queensland for $4,000. If you can tell me, and I've forgotten what it is already, I'll have a look. Oh, yeah, my favourite group. The name of a group, and it's my favourite. OK, you've got three consonants and a vowel. Steve, tell us. All about the prize, please. This is a wonderful holiday for two people for 14 days to the wonderful Whitsunday Village, North Queensland, flying first class with Ansett Airlines of Australia. Whitsunday Village is a Polynesian-style resort located in the centre of Airlie Beach. So relax on the beach during the day and then enjoy the great entertainment at night. This wonderful holiday also includes your breakfast and accommodation, plus $1,000 worth of Tosca luggage. Total price, $4,000 from Whitsunday Village and Ansett Airlines. Thank you very much, Steve Curtis. Okay, Eugene, three consonants and a vowel, please. Uh, B for Bob. B for Bob. R for Robert. R for Robert. S for Sam. S for Sam. A for Albert. B R S A. B R S A. Let's see if they come up. Oh, good. Mmm, mm, beauty. Any idea? Cold chisel. Cold chisel. You know cold chisel, do you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You like it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're a fabulous group. Cold chisel, but never mind, Eugene. You come back with us tomorrow, will you? Yeah, I'll be you back. You've got $2,078. It'll build up tomorrow, and maybe you'll have a chance of winning that on. Are you a married man? Was. Was. Was, yeah. Oh, I was happy now. <laughs> okay, Eugene. <laughs> happens to us all. We'll see you tomorrow. All right. Okay. Thanks, Eddie. Yeah, we'll see you wherever you may be watching around Australia. Bye for now. Thank you. A Grumby Organization production for the Seven Network. Steve Curtis speaking.